Hello and welcome, Jilly Cube here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with just an idea that I've got. I don't think I've done for a long time an actual um, yellow background, so I'm going to try it on this smaller canvas. Oh, getting rid of a bit of paint to see if it actually works. And, and uh, if it's not too in your face, not that I mind that at all. So I'm gonna use a little sponge brush and sponge in my yellow. I think I might do the other canvas too. So it's just um, really nice bright yellow. I think it's just called the cool yellow. It's all, or I think I've got one that's a um, summer flower. But these are global paints. And beautifully pigmented I love them made in Australia I love that so you can get them all over the world now so look for them please if I haven't put a link up there is a link in for the Australian suppliers for sure but it doesn't matter I don't need that much on this one because I'm going to use this canvas to dip with but look at that yellow, really trying to do colors today that cheer up. Had a pretty emotional time that my um, little puppy, one that was really born tiny, like 141 grams when the others were born like 370. Um, so it's been born almost a week and I, it's really fought hard and it's really put up the good fight. And I only came in here and then went to look at it after I'd finished a painting, which was less than oh, an hour. And it died, just simply died. Um, the vet said, these things happen and you're not, you know, they're just, it's just part of the cycle. But it's still very sad when that happens. And I certainly never get used to that. But anyway, so, what better to come and paint your little heart out? Okay, I am going to do something really nice and bright dippers. So I'm hoping this paint is thick because I like using really thick paint when I do dipping. And that's probably a bit runny. It just seems to work really well if you have got thicker paint. So I wanna do kind of a different composition with that. So that is uh, magenta, that one. Now this one is the fluoro pink. I'm sort of doing these chevron shapes on here because I just find they come out really lovely. So to our little puppy we christened Tiny Tina because she was so mighty in her fight to try and stay alive but sadly she lost the fight so it's yeah feeling sad today i know there's far worse things happening in the world but that's what's happening in my world at the minute and i feel sad about it very sad okay push on jilly silly jilly Radio. So that, that was the dark sea. That's going to be my sort of light pop of colour. And then I'm going to add a um, pink that I made out of just the white with a little dab of that uh, fluoro pink in. So this is an odd shape, I know, but i am just got an idea in my head and I hope it, it comes out. I'm going to drizzle. This is just some uh, global um, metallic um, violet. Rightio, let's go for that. Just one little. I think my white is way too thin. As I said, definitely works out better if you have thicker paint for dips. So we'll try this one. There you go. I was going to do the dip on the um, foil dip, but I've got these two little canvases, so I thought I'll try these colours. So it's just popping the other canvas on top. 
don't you know. There you go. And just press it down with your hand. That's what I just found the easiest. I have got a little roller there that I've used before, but today, because these are only 20 by 25 canvases, I'm going to just use my Donny, my Donny Donny, press down. I really want it bright and cheerful. And turn it all the way over again, just so it transfers the paint onto the second canvas. You could actually do the shape of a butterfly on one canvas, put it over and then certainly peel it off. So you've got uh, wings, got an itchy nose. That usually means a surprise. Well, my mom used to tell me it meant a surprise. I'm gonna pop that back and now we'll give it a, let's take it over. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, that worked beautifully look at that oh my goodness oh that's absolutely gorgeous those colors worked perfect wow wow and wow very impressed with that love my background you could certainly make that into a butterfly but these are butterfly wings to take my sweet dear little tiny tina up to rainbow bridge in the sky That's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that, oh my goodness, making me emotional just looking at him. Knowing my dear little puppy, oh. Oh, it's sad, sad, sad. Sorry guys, should be cheerful. I am gonna leave that one exactly how it is and I hope that it dries, I might add. <laughs> teeny tiny because of my teeny tiny that's what we called a teeny tiny tina she was tiny but mighty i'm just going to add a few of these little balloon for my tiny tina oh it's beautiful it's bringing the yellow up from underneath that is gorgeous you don't have to add these of course don't have to do anything. You can take whatever bits you like from an artist you're watching and make it your own. Do some things, but don't do others. But you make it your own and do what gives you joy. I think as I get older more and more, I'm thinking that that is the thing you have to do. Stop trying to please the We'll say please the audience you are my audience but i mean as in life all the people that might not do for you what you do for them don't have to be unkind but some people you know you've just got to move on from that is so beautiful that is definitely a tribute to our little tiny tina <sighs> okay all right my lovelies, I will be back tomorrow. Please take care. Hope that you like this painting as much as I do. I am feeling emotional about it, but I am super, super happy. Bye for now.